Right, morning, Monday morning. We're on a um, hospital in Merthyr Tydfil in the uh, glorious country of Welsh Wales. So it's a bit of a change from London last week, but it's got basically two 150s to gland and terminate the earth to put away, and that's about it. That's it today, and then I've got and I'm off to Oxford later on this afternoon for a job there. But I'll update you on that a little bit later on. It is incredibly windy and I'm on a roof. So I might even get blown off, you never know. There we go. There's only a temporary supply, I've just been told. So anyway, we've got I've just had my glasses in my mouth. That sounded like I had a short tongue. So that's them in. Two cables in, wallop. I'm absolutely freezing. I've been stood on a roof all day. All day. It's 25 past 1 <laughs> the old Welsh slate mines in the background and that mountain over there I can't remember what that's called what's that mountain called Dad? Penavan Penavan so there's me doing a bit of uh, bit of Welsh mountain explore where is it I've lost the bugger there it is that one there over there Penavan what did you say it was the third highest in Wales there you go I know Snowdon here, but I don't know any others. So yeah, that's been me today. Off to Oxford now to do, I've been told six, there's a good one, six 240s and two 120s. The lad on the phone said, you won't get that done in a day, will you? <laughs> so what do you think? I am super, man. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap up now, put the earth away, wrap up, and get in the, get in the windy van and get myself back over into England from beautiful Welsh Wales. Right, just a little video today. I'm in Oxford. Um, and today I've achieved four, four core 240s and one earth because the other one can't be connected at the other end. Uh, I've got a bit to do this week. There's some more to do. There's there's two more, four more ends of 240 to gland and terminate, and there's two ends just to terminate because somebody else has glanded, and then there's some 120s, possibly some 70s. So, a busy old week, but this is what I've achieved today. So, the cables come from there, sweep across. They're going to get again some like trapezes, drop rods drop down into this area, put some cleats on there because it is a bit of a jump, and they're coming and then spread out into there so that was one end of the same cables actually so that's one end and then we'll go down because we're in the dizzying heights at the moment so we'll go down and look at the other end so then there's those two across up and in um, I'm going to put the earth away tomorrow because it goes up to that earth stood up there where the other cables go that was this morning's job did that those cables go up a riser over the top turn there go across and then into that one and that, and that was this afternoon's job it is now what time is it quarter past six apparently the lights go off now <laughs> so i'm gonna have to get my gear tidied up right four car 120 into this board, I've had to completely demolish it. That's come out, disconnected the din, took the din rail off those brackets, took the rail out at the front, absolutely no room whatsoever. The cable, through there, underneath that, behind that, down there, so I've had to, we've had to pull that all the way through, honestly. Talk about design. So now I want to bend them in place, put them through the CT, terminate them, and then put the board back together. That's what you want on your birthday, isn't it? Yeah. So that was yesterday's job. Two more 240s into... At, uh, well, it's not a tap off, it's just a junction box, really, because... The copex cable, the cables, flexors go into the copexes and then away to whichever particular piece of machinery they're feeding. But I'll go up and show you. Originally, those cables came along there, 
and they went through that hole. So they had to be cut, had to dismantle that rod and that rod over there behind the basket, behind all of that. Drop the cables out, get them, put them back up some, like somewhere near, get a measure, and then gland them and terminate them. So that was yesterday, plus a four core 120, which I'll go and show you now, which that was fun as well. So that was one job. So that was the next, that was the first one I did. So it's a four core 120, there's the terminations. Didn't have any heat shrink, so I couldn't heat shrink them, but they're in. But this runs along the back there, and then comes up. Now, that goes behind the 240s I did the other day. So we had to pull it, get a measure, pull it out, and then pull it back in. Which was, yeah, it wasn't easy. And then I managed to finish off last night with this. And then the last job of last night was to terminate those eight, uh, those two, four car 240s come in. So I just put them in last night, put, put a crush fit kit on with Allen bolts and uh, got them terminated. So now today, I've got to get <coughs> that dip out of there. Somebody else glanded that, so I've got to get that dip out. And I've got to gland that 120 and terminate into that one. And that is my day done. So I'll show you that when I'm done. So there it is, cable in, terminated, 4 car 120, no air thing because there's no stuff in glands, but that's it. That's my working week, it is now 20 past 11, Thursday, going on. I'm going to get me sheet signed, and that's me. Excellent news. See you later.